So we'll see what they can get done. But uh, they have a, a, another game coming up, and it's the bucket game. Now, you know, you can never tell what's going to happen in a game like that normally. Um, I think Indiana needs to start Grant Gremmel at quarterback. Charlie, Grant Gremmel is a walk-on. He's fourth mm-hmm. string, and now he's playing a lot. He He's played a uh, quite a bit more in the last these last couple of games. But when he's been in there, he's throwing the ball, and he's throwing it more comfortably than Donovan McCulley. I think part of the problem this year is Indiana just decided who their quarterbacks were going to be without really having a true competition. Yeah. Competition. Yeah. Because, and I'm not saying that Grant Gramble's better than what Michael Penix was last year, <clears throat> but that was last year. And you should have been able to see through spring and summer that Michael Penix was not the Michael Penix. And until he was, he shouldn't have been QB number one because right. all you're doing now is you're taking reps away from people that you yep. could have been preparing. And then, yep. so Jack Tuttle doesn't get prepared. When he comes in, he doesn't look that good. And he's been here three years. He was a top 11 quarterback in the country, not developed. Then you've got Donovan McCulley, not ready to throw the ball. Right. But then you've got this kid, this four-string kid, this walk-on who comes in and just – the other night after the game, we were talking to him. I wish you had this – I should have told John to pull this up. But he was asked about pressure. He said, I don't believe in pressure. And I, John, we'll have to get that pulled up later. But it was yeah. just a great, great clip. I don't believe in pressure. He just is. This guy's a four-string walk-on. Hey man, you've never, been on. Never played. Never gonna play in a Big Ten game. And now he's out there, and he throws the first touchdown to a wide receiver for Indiana since the Idaho game. Man, that's big. So, but yeah, he just stand there, just as calm as he can be. Now, I, I know he's not playing in the very beginnings, but I right. don't care. He should be starting. He's just comfortable. I be- When he says, exactly. I don't believe in pressure, I believe him because it looks like it on the floor. And to not do that, that's special. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to think about this. He's been watching, waiting his turn, you know, so he's been counted out. Thinking it's that's never going to come. Bingo. Bingo. He's been watching, waiting his turn, being patient. And now there's a lot of, uh, uh, ammunition behind that, you know, um, you know, taking a very confident uh, stake at, hey, what's pressure? I don't believe in it because he's been under it. You know, he's been under it big time. Now you have your opportunity, so that's that's pretty pretty impressive on his side. Yeah, I'm quickly pulling up. He in in the limited time that he played, he was five of twelve for sixty yards with a touchdown. Um, the only touchdown Indiana had, of course. A quarterback rating of 111, I think that's probably the highest quarterback rating Indiana has had in weeks. Wow. Um, So he threw for 60 of Indiana's 77 passing yards in his limited time of playing. Yeah. Um, Indiana just tried to run the ball. You cannot be a one-dimensional team, man. They're they're going to do exactly what they did and shut that down. Um. Even with that, Indiana only had 141 rushing yards versus 195 uh, to Minnesota, who had a, a great mix. They had 196 passing yards. So, yeah. buddy, that's that's very, very balanced. Um, Indiana couldn't throw the ball. They bought Grimmel in. He gets, you know, those 60 of 77 yards. He's got to start next week. He has yeah. to start. If they have any chance to win the game, Indiana needs to start a fourth-string walk-on. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. You have to I, I, bite the bullet, man. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I, that's, again, you, your quarterback to me is like, that's the that's the second head coach. <laughs> your quarterback is not in position. You don't have uh, an identity in that position, man. That, that's, I don't see you winning a lot of games. I just really don't. Like, I mean, it's been a carousel at that position. So you hope this young man does a good job. He gets his starting opportunity next week. And everybody, there was questions like, well, what are you going to do to Donovan McCauley's confidence? Man, that is, that's the problem that Indiana has had. They're worried about 
That's you can't worry about that when you're trying to win a game, and it's it's big boy football. You, yeah. you can't. I'm not saying you there's not times to massage confidence and this and that. When it's about winning a game, no, that's not it. Yeah. Sorry, <clears throat> dude. We're, uh, we're, we're on scholarship, not guaranteed contract. Yes. You, there's no guarantee on playing time like there is at the professional level where you may have to play somebody due to contractual obligations. No, this is like what Coach Woodson talks about. Can't guarantee you anything other than you need to compete for your position. We're going to put the best people out there that gives us an opportunity to win, be consistent and compete. And, um, you know, that's just where it's at. You can't, you cannot do that. You can't. 